So one of the questions I think we get asked the most is how do we meet? And like anything else y'all have ever heard us talk about or sing about, it's definitely not conventional. So the first time that I ever saw her, I was scrolling through Facebook and she came up as people you may know. And if I'm being honest, let's just put it out there, I thought she was hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna throw that out there. And I clicked friend and sent a, requ a request to her. And luckily she actually accepted that friend request. And I was then one of the guys sliding into DMs, but I was trying it a different way. I said, hey, how are you? Sent her a message and she luckily actually messaged me back. Those four words kind of sparked the rest of my life. I remember the first message and I remember being like, I'm not in a position where I want to date. I'm working on me. I have two kiddos. I'm going back to school. Like, I, I think I, I waited like, several hours before responding so I was like ah, I don't even know if I want to even entertain I was anything. At the gym. I think I sent it to you while I was at work. I got your response while I was at the gym and I was like oh look. <laughs> but I did. I did reply yep. um, and you looked super cute and so it just kind of went from there. We talked for a couple days before we met yeah. in person. We, so she was telling me all about how she was helping her mom renovate a house they were moving into and I finally convinced her to go on a date with me and th that's not like I locked it in right then so I got her to go on a date with me but when I was getting ready to come pick her up she tried canceling I think four times total yeah four while you were on the way like he was like yeah. driving from 20 minutes away and I was trying to cancel while he was on his own so I finally convinced her <laughs> I was like look it's gonna be fine it's just dinner well I'll have you back in time to get get your kids I promise it's gonna be great I just didn't know if I was ready to date I had just gone through a divorce I had two babies I was focusing on me so so I pick her up she's in this gorgeous navy blue dress and tan cowgirl boots her hair straightened and I'm in my little maroon Honda City. Me, me, come up, ready to go. <laughs> Looking like, you know, 40 year old dad out there. And we go downtown to the uh, art district of downtown Chattanooga and hit up a place called Tony's, which is some of the best homemade Italian food you've ever had in your life. Sat out there on this gorgeous looking terrace. And while I'm rambling and rambling and rambling about everything I have to say about my life to her, catching her up on, you know, the 20, three 24 years she had missed at that point i knock out the propane heater that's behind me because bear in mind we're in january i've got a propane heater back here and i keep leaning my chair back or i'm moving my elbow and i'm constantly <laughs> knocking this thing out and the waiter is getting so aggravated because he keeps having to come back and light it i think what i remember the most though from that night was how much you talked about your parents and how long they had been married and the way that you talked about them it's almost like i could tell you were a good person and a good guy, um, the way you just respected your mom and talked about your mom and talked about their love and... See mama, I talk about it. <laughs> just, just idolizing, you know, the fact that they've been married for so long. It was just really cool to, to watch you in that moment. It showed so much of your character. Well, what I remember the most too, though, was we got done, I was driving her back, and I had missed her birthday by 10 days. Her birthday was the 10th, it was now the 20th. And in the midst of her trying to cancel those dates, I had swung by and picked up a little gift and I was trying to find something that I felt like would have some kind of meaning to her. We're just getting started knowing each other and I didn't know if I was doing good or not. So <laughs> gifts were it was a gamble. But I picked up this this charm bracelet that had a anchor on it because I'd noticed that she had a tattoo of an anchor and it seemed like it was very meaningful and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to get her a birthday gift and hopefully this works. It was super sweet. It was so unexpected too because it was like the end of the day, we pull back in the driveway and I'm like waiting for him to tell me bye um, and he pulls out this bracelet so that was super sweet. I was like, I know I missed the mark but here's this and after that she leaned in, leaned in and gave me a kiss and when she did that, that was that, that moment. Like we all, I feel like have that moment, but that was my moment. Like when she gave me that kiss, I knew like, okay, well, here we go. I don't want anything else. I want this. And 
I mean, the rest is history. We're here. And it, it, it's amazing to see, God, I mean, it's been five years since we met, four years since we've been married, and a lot of stuff has happened yeah, in a short amount of time. Facebook, a Facebook message. Four words on a Facebook DM, <laughs> and it's her crazy. being willing to take a chance and actually talk to me. I'm glad I did. <laughs>